to your homes this morning and joining us in our first three walk by creating awareness about some productive people in our society, the orphans. Those who are very terrible to get up for them. The need to enhance better future for the Nigeria child has been re-emphasized by management of halal children home. This is coming on the day that UNESCO set aside to mark the World Adoption Day. Ramatu Abubakar, the Vice President of Halal Children Home, says fostering a child is in line with Islamic law. Um, today is actually World Adoption Day, so we want to raise awareness about fostering because a lot of the talk is about adoption and we want uh, Nigerians to know that you can actually foster a child. Uh, fostering a child is more in line with the Islamic uh, law because the difference between adoption and fostering is in adoption you, you lose the identity of your birth parents and you take the identity of the adoptive parents while Islam wants you to retain your identity. So you can still take a child into your home and the child retains his identity and you do everything that's required for the child. So we want uh, to let Nigerians know that these children are, uh, are in need of homes. Although our home, Halal Children's Home, takes care of these children, the best place for a child is within a family. So we are encouraging people to come and uh, start the fostering process and take these children into your home. We're actually registered with the social development services. So any, we are just, we do not give the children out for fostering. The fostering is done by the, by the government. So on our own end, we provide care for the children. And when there's a parent that wants to foster a child, we just provide the platform to know the child. And then we facilitate the process with the government. She also said the rights of the children are being protected and monitored. Joke Silva, a vegetarian actress, is one of the view that child should be fostered with love, not out of pity. Uh, around um, children that you foster, you know, and um, so, you know, sometimes they say, oh, this child may turn out to be somebody who is going to harm my family you don't know whether that child was given birth to by a crazy person you don't know you know um but i i i really don't think that those things are tenable even when we have our own but you know you give the child comes through you you never know how what the child is bringing from heaven you know we always pray for an you know we, we pray for very healthy children. We pray for children who don't have any, um, you know, who, who don't have any issues, you know, health, um, issues. but at the end of the day, every child comes with whatever it is that God, you know, that um, that's embedded in them. And love, love does do a lot to, to turn around whatever it is. Um, so for me, that's, that's, um, so I, 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 I guess what I'm trying to say is that the, those who, who, who want children and who do not um, want to have those children through IVF or are having other challenges, they're, they're children there for you to foster. Now in the Islamic tradition, fostering is the, is the norm for, for the Islamic tradition. Now, one of the things that I think is also very important to point out is that you do not foster a child out of pity. You foster a child out of love. There's a big difference. You foster a child out of love. You want the best for that child. You, you want to give the best, you know, for that, to, to that child as you are capable, as, you know, the best that you are capable of emotionally, emotionally, financially, physically, you give the child their, your, your, you know, your best. Um, I, I think that uh, there are some areas where, you know, I, um, I know that government tries to be extra careful about letting children um, go into homes, you know, they 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 want to be sure that they are not going going into homes where they're going to be abused, where they're going to be, you know, used for some kind of 
or the, you know where, where the child is not going to be used in in any way other than being a child of the family so government get, get, tends to be you, you know bend over backwards to to make to make sure of that but i think you know when when the red tape the red tape can be a bit much especially for families who are aching to have these things done so let's let's try and see how we can shorten the 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 red tape um, find ways where we're human beings we have incredible intellect so it's a matter of thinking let's think about it and find ways of just getting parents and children together you know into um, I, I will always say a big thank you to a lady called Emea Kenzua Emea Kenzua she also has um, uh, she runs a home in Lagos and she was the one who came to me and said look auntie big sis Big sis, I know you were adopted and I would like you to, you know, just help us let people know that adoption is something that is good, is something that, um, and it doesn't limit what the child can do and what the parents, you know, what, how the parents are viewed in society. Um, my mother was a medical doctor, one of the earliest medical doctors in Nigeria, and my father was a legal practitioner. He worked with the um, um, UAC and he was the Babajiro of Lagos. First of all, Otunlisa of Lagos and then Babajiro of Lagos. I am number two in a family of five. We, we just lost my immediate younger sister um, earlier this year. You know, and it's, it's um, and you know, why I say I thank her is that, you know, one, one uh, never spoke about it. It was something that you didn't talk about, you know, and um, in a way, it's I, I what I find that has happened ever since, you know, she she got me to talk to a group of people about it, is that more people are beginning to see. I, we, we, we bless God. We bless God for my parents for the way they brought me up, and you know what one has by God's wonderful grace, one has become in the society, so that you it's almost like you're. Um, it, one is a symbol of the possibilities that that uh, you know that um, adopting that fostering can do. I have an an incredibly amazing support, in, amazing family. Uh, of course, you have family members that are that are <laughs> that are annoying. That you know can be nasty, but nasty people are nasty people. You 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 know. So th that's if you were not adopted, they will find something else. You know. So. Um, it has nothing to do with that. I have an incredible um, nuclear family. Um, well, uh, yes, my, my, my brother, my sisters, my husband, my kids, you know, and my grandchild now. For his part, Abubakar Sadiq, a member of the Board of Trustees, maintained that it is important to promote fostering among families by providing love, compassion for the children from the example of um, halal homes. So my talk was, and in just summary, was just really talking about the importance of raising this or promoting this within our families. Because um, we have a lot of children today who unfortunately have been orphaned and it's not due to any circumstance of theirs. It is the choice or it is the card that life has dealt to them or fate has de dealt to them. Um, and it is for us to provide as much compassion and love to them and I gave an example, yes, with uh, even the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, uh, may the peace and blessings of the Almighty be upon him, who was orphaned from young. Uh, and I also gave an example of the, the founder of Apple, uh, Steve Jobs, who was actually a Syrian, but adopted by a family in America and then given the name Steve Jobs. And he grew to be a, very, a genius, literally, who has now produced a multi-trillion dollar company that till today... The wealth generated by this company is something that is tremendous for the whole world to um, experience. So uh, it's really for us as families, as people in this nation, to look at promoting fostering and foster care within our homes and doing it properly. Not taking children in and turning them into mates, but taking them in, giving them love, 
shelter, you know, education, ensuring that they have the best of clothes, whatever you give your own children, you give to them as well. This is really what fostering is about. Unfortunately, in this part of the world, when we say fostering, it's really a family saying that oh, a man has taken the children from their village because they are poor and they turn them into mates. And that's not fostering. What you do is you build resentment in the heart of the child. You don't build them to be confident and have that feeling that they can be something in life. So this is, in a nutshell, in summary, what I basically talked about at, the, uh, at my speech or during my speech. And I pray that this resonates with every Nigerian and every, every human being. You don't have to be a Muslim for this message to touch you. Every single one of us have something to do and say regarding this. And we all need to have good people around us. So we can all be good as well. God willing. Docas Adipoj Voice TV Nigeria.